Jerome Luai is the one and only name on the sheet here. <laughs> Why so? Because I don't have anything for you, James. No, well, to, <laughs> out of the uh, out of Penrith at the moment, obviously a lot of talk about Jerome Luai's future. Now, this is probably going to set the market into a little bit of a frenzy. Penrith have had informal talks with Jerome Luai. Now, the, the reason they've had those talks is there's been a management split, which we know about. He can't negotiate with another manager until mid-October, but he's been given permission to negotiate directly with the club. So the club has sat down with him and explained the salary cap situation and they've told him, they've indicated to him what they are roughly going to be able to spend as it stands right now. I can tell you that figure starts with a seven. He won't get more than 800000 at the Penrith Panthers and they have told him that as it stands right now, now things could change, players could move on, but right now the offer's going to be in the sevens. Will that be enough to keep Jerome Luai? Time will tell. I wouldn't be surprised if he has a look at November 1 to see what else is out there because I imagine it'd be more than sevens. Yeah, I would think, I would think definitely it'd be more than sevens if he was to put himself on the open market, but does he want to leave that club? I mean, that's, that's a, it's a special club, it's a special group of players he's playing with at the moment. To me, he's Penrith. When you think about Penrith, I mean, I know Cleary's there, but he's just a, he's a Penrith kid. I, I think he's Penrith, so I don't know if, he'd, I don't know if he'll leave. I don't know if he'll want to leave. Let me tell you, I never left money. I love Cronulla. I want to stay at Cronulla. As much as I've got this reputation for love of money, I could have got more money elsewhere. And I never went because I loved the club. I wanted to stay there. I didn't want to leave. And an extra 100 grand, 200 grand didn't matter. And by the time you pay tax on it, you pay your manager, it's not that much anyway. So, you know, unless, unless you're talking to one to 1 1.2 million, like a, a four or $500,000 a year difference, I don't, I don't know if he'll leave. Well, Joe, Joey but, said he's going to get—he would get a million. He thinks. On well, the so, who market. are the suitors that would pay that? Who, who's knocking on his door? Well, no one's knocking on the door yet because technically they're not allowed till till November one. Yes. They can have a conversation with him. They can't make him an offer just yet. I don't know. Is, is a million dollars out of reach, Gus, for a club that's desperate for a six or two, three hundred thousand less than he'll stay at a club that's successful with his mates? Well, I think he'd easily get offers of that, even north of that, even more than that. The salary cap will go up every year marginally after that. Um, he's clearly one of the key marquee um, playmakers in the game. And then you multiply that by a four or five year deal, you know, it might only be three or four hundred thousand for one year, but then over five years, yeah. well, that's another two million dollars, you know, which is can't to be sneezed at. Um, got a young family, he's making his way in life, career's very short. On the other side of that, as I've said many times, you know, people talking about them winning three comps in a row, I think they can win five or six. I just can't see anyone rebuilding. Their, their players are still in the sweet spot of their careers. They're not, it's not an ageing roster whatsoever. I suppose the only thing you could consider, he, did, he has won two premierships in a row. Maybe there's going to come a time where he does have to put his family first and think maybe you know, one or two million dollars well, over four or five years. Wait a minute, years. He's, he's 20, what, 26 going on 27 years of age. The best playmakers in the game are all over 32 years of age. And they're all going to be gone in two years' time. He's still six or seven years away from where they are. From where they are. Right? The top playmakers in the game right at the moment, the, the overage ones, are all going to be gone in two or three years. Who's going to replace them? Man in demand. He will be come November 1.